I saw the Joker trailer. Yes, we going to talk about it. Let's go. So yes, I saw the Joker trailer. Holy deal, do I believe it means shared madness? An app title. Um, we're dealing with Harley Quinn, played by Lady Gaga, and Joker, of course, played by the classic Joaquin Phoenix. Um, this pair. I couldn't have cast it better. When I immediately saw Lady Gaga in the role of Harley Quinn um, and her doing her scene, I had different vibes, almost hearkening to like Aubrey Plaza's role in the FX show uh, Legion. It had, it had a nice 70s, 60s vibe. Um, the same time of energy and madness that Aubrey displayed, I was seeing a, in glimpses with Lady Gaga, but Lady Gaga is a tour de force. She gives 110% every single role she's been in. If you saw her in American Horror Story, uh, The Hotel as the Countess, you know, she can play a very subdued psychopath, very elegant psychopath, and she can ramp it up to, to, to 11 if she needs to. Um, she, she has the acting chops. She has the pipes to, to belt out ballots. Um, perfect choice. Now, I know some of you may be thinking, well, I don't know if Joaquin Venus can actually sing. I mean, are we going to, like, what, dub him? I'm, I'm going to stop you there. There was a 2005 autobiography film called Walk the Line detailing the life of Johnny Cash and Ruth Carter Cash. Joaquin Phoenix did all of his vocals, all the lines in that movie. So that singing that you're hearing from, his, from, from, from that movie, that's all from him. That's all from Joaquin. Okay, so I have no doubt he'll be able to nail this. He wouldn't have been cast. Um, the director, Todd Phillips, would not have said, let's, let's just do a musical if he couldn't do what he needed to do from Joaquin Phoenix. So I'm confident there. Um, I love the look. I'm glad. Um, Todd Phillips brought back in Scott Silver. Um, they did a bang up job with the original Joker, grossed the cor course up one billion dollars. Warner Brothers gave him two hundred million to make this one, and it looks every bit of it from just the trailer. I don't know much about the story. I know that DC's going in to the more Elseworlds view of how they tell their stories. They're borrowing a lot from the DC Black Label, um, which is great. I, I really appreciate this. There's so many stories within DC. Some are very mature. Some are, you know, your garden variety, you know, PG-13 fair. But just having this film be a part of that universe, if not part of the DCE universe, just having it be made is, is, is fantastic. While I was watching this trailer, um, I love the music. I'm glad, I'm glad they brought back Hilder Hood's daughter. I apologize if I butchered that name. Um, they're a fantastic composer. They were in the original Joker. Um, and I believe there's like 15 musical numbers within this. And then it's like, two or three additional songs, original songs for this. So I, I could be wrong, but um, I, I read it somewhere that that, that was the case. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm floored. Like I'm literally out of breath of how much I'm, I'm excited to see this trailer. And that's what a trailer is supposed to do. It's supposed to get you amped up. It's supposed to raise that level of like, I don't know what's going on in this movie, but I want to see it. I want to be, I'm, I'm locked in. I'm already engaged with it. Um, and, and you're starting to not see more and more of those, that type of, that feeling when you've seen trailers, but WB for some reason with Doom 2, Doom Part 2, and now this, um, they're knocking it out of the park. Like I'm, I'm getting that feeling like I'm, I'm willing to jump back in with WB and, and, and be a part of this. Um, it's getting me a little hyped up for the, the new DCEU um, fair that's coming out from James Gunn. So, but not to get distracted, um, you need Harley Quinn. I know people, they may be tired of seeing Harley Quinn. She's everywhere. Um, there's so much more that you can push Harley Quinn to do and having an actress like Lady Gaga but is, is out of this world. Um, she can get to those levels and match, if not exceed, the madness that the Joker and Joaquin Phoenix portrays. Um, and you need an actress to kind of balance that out. Um, if this movie th is going to go where I think it's going to go, I'm going to see vibes, movies akin to like California, the 1990s movie California with Brad Pitt and Juliette Lewis. I'm going to see movies like Natural Born Killers, you know. Um, you know, those type of movies, even like a splash, even dropping a splash of like Bonnie and Clyde, having that dynamic duo, you know, that symbiotic relationship showing on screen. Um, you saw that within the animated series. You saw that in, in other um, properties from um, DC. But to have it on stage and to have it at this like Oscar caliber level, I'm not saying it's going to win an Oscar. It'd be great if it does. But like having it at look and feel like an Oscar caliber movie is really great. Um, some of you may be like pissed off that it's kind of like a musical. I'm, I'm not like, 
like one of my favorite movies is like Sweeney Todd by Tim Burton. And I can watch that movie over and over again with the one with Johnny Depp and Helen, bon- Helen Bonham Carter. <laughs> um, I can watch that movie over and over again. So like, I don't think the musical slant to it is, is going to harm this movie. I think it's only going to enhance it um, and make those stories and make those plot elements even more impactful, even more meaty. So yeah. Um, side note, I was really surprised that Scott Silver is actually working on a Spawn reboot, which I know some of you may not like, um, you may not like remember, even know that there's a Spawn movie, but yes, it was not great. It was not bad. It was, it was fine. And, and it's one of those movies I liked when there's nothing on popping in and seeing it, seeing John Leguizamo just, you know, dance around his lines on the screen and seeing Michael Jai White kicking ass as best he can with that overweight suit, you know, but anyway. Verdict, I love this trailer. I can't wait to be in theaters. I believe it comes out October 4th, so I will be there to see it. Um, if you like this video, feel free to like, share, subscribe. I really appreciate it. Like we can talk about it in the comments. I'll see you later. Cabs out.